Video Space. How great is our God? Welcome to Divine Christian Church. Christian fellowship where we serve God in spirit and in truth. John 4 23 to 24. Our weekly services are as follows Monday to Saturday, Divine Support Daily Revival Fellowship from 8 to 9 pm London time. On Sunday, we fellowship from 10 am to 12 30 pm London time. Our other services are as follows. Every day we have our seven days a week Operation Push Intensive Midnight Prayers phone conference from 11.45 p.m. to 1 a.m. London time. Every Saturday we have our Save One Soul Per Week Evangelism from 1 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. London time. For more details, please call or WhatsApp plus 44-790-833-833. 4348 Divine Christian Church We are a Bible believing Pentecostal and Evangelical Church with a strong appetite for the uncompromising propagation of the gospel of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ John 4 23 to 24 Our mission is to find develop and make ready a people that will not only achieve an all round fulfilment here on earth but more importantly, spend eternity in heaven. John 10.10 10. Our vision is to optimize the benefits that the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ present by building an international Christian community that is fully maximized in their spirit, soul and body. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 23 and 3 John 2. Praise the living God shall we be on our feet and begin to bless the name of the Lord. We want to start by thanking God for his faithfulness, for his goodness, for his mercies that has kept you and I till um, 2024. You want to thank God. You want to really, really open your mouth to begin to bless the name of the Lord for another day, another week, another month, another year. Father, this morning we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, we give you all the adoration, we thank you. We glorify you, O oh God, for it is not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. We thank you, my Lord and my God, that you have caused us, that you to escape. That you God, Father, that it formed all the carols, that you God, that was thrown at us, that you God, in 2023, and by your grace, you've opened the gates of 2024 unto us, that you God, and we have escaped, that you God, Father, like a bird from the snare of the Father. Our souls have escaped, that you God, into 2024, and for that, that you God, we thank you. For that, we give you all the glory, for that, we give you all the praise and adoration. We thank you, Father, we thank you, we thank you, because it's a new opportunity. It is a new, that you call Father, opportunity, Father, for you, O oh God, Father, to manifest your glory in our lives. And for us, my Lord and my God, Father, to change our ways, O oh God. We thank you for the privilege, Father. We thank you, Father, for the honor. We thank you and we magnify you, O oh God. For we can that there is no God like unto me. Either we exalted, O oh God, either we lift our eyes, Father, that you God. We extol you. Oh God, we reach your name above every other name. Thank you for who you are. We thank you that you sit that the God Father in the heavens. The Bible says that the heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool. Thank you for your promises that are God in the word of God. Thank you for your promises that are here and in you. Father, we thank you for the promises in the word. We give you all the promise of the promises, oh God. This moment that is God, I want to thank you. To the day that you will return, that you will be on your own. We thank you, Father, that all you require, that you God of us, is to trust that you God to rely, O oh God, to believe in you, that you God, and to have faith in you. And we say that you God, thank you, my Lord and my God, that we don't have to do all that manner of things that you God, in order for us to be accepted by you. 
from today. We thank you, my Lord and my God, for counting us as your own. I thank you, Father, for counting me as your own. I thank you for life. I thank you for sound mind and for good health. Over the assembly, that God of divine Christian church. Nothing missing, nothing broken. We can never thank God enough. It is not by might, not by power. Yes. It's not because we did it right in 2023 or the, or the previous years. But it is the grace of God, the, the mercies of God that has seen us through, ushered us through into 2024. You want to thank God for everything that you have, that you brought with you. You want to thank God. The Bible says that when the children of Israel left Egypt, they, 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 nothing. They took everything, including the plunder, and they walked in the wilderness, and nothing was missing, nothing was broken. The same clothes, their feet, that is exactly what God did to us. We have come into 2024. Your family is intact. Everything is intact. You have a job. You crossed over with whatever, even if Nothing. You just want to say, Father, for the breath of life. Shall we begin to pray? Father, we thank you. I thank you for divine Christian church. I thank you for every member, oh God. That, Father, by your grace, we all cross over. Us together in our household. This family, that God, we all came through. And we want to say thank you for the month of January. Thank you, Father, for the year 2024. Shall we begin to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning we come before you, O God. We leave the church that you call the service, everything before you. We ask that you God that you will take us to control from beginning to the end that you call. Father, we dedicate this service unto thee. We say, Lord, we decrease that you God and increase. Decrease that you God, we decrease. We stand aside and we say, increase in us that you God today. Father, take control in the name of Jesus. Malika and the name of Soto Koranda. We sanctify that you God the sanctuary with the blood. Jesus. And we say, Lord, have a Let every flesh die. Let everything that is flesh die. And let the Spirit of God take preeminence, oh God. Have your way in today's service. Have your way in today's service. Masotoko Brosia Yababa. Lika Angele Masotoko Brosia Yababa. Expressions of your love. 
Thanks, 
for God. We give you thanks for all you have done in our lives. We are so blessed, but our souls have found rest.
full time in his presence. We need to all know into the most high God in the mighty name of Jesus. And at this point, I'll kind of call on the brother TJ to please them take us through the announcements. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to have our announcements today in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to Divine Christian Church, a Christian fellowship where we serve God with integrity. We are a Bible-believing, Pentecostal, and Evangelical church with a strong appetite for popularizing the congregation of the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To so find and develop and make ready a people that will not only achieve an all-round fulfillment here on earth, but more importantly, spend eternity in heaven. That's our mission. Our vision is to optimize the benefits that the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ presents by building an international Christian community that is fully maximized in spirit, soul, and body. Our strategy and approach is basically quite simple. Find non-Christians with the help of the Holy Spirit and convert them through the Christian faith outreach ministry. We also have evangelism as well. Develop the church by equipping members with knowledge, understanding, and wisdom that do not enable them to realize the spiritual, mental, physical potential in full. Emphasize the strong need to develop a continued deep-seated one-to-one relationship with God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This will enable everyone in the church to operate at least in one gift of the Holy Spirit and also manifest the spirits of the Spirit. And we can send everyone in the church to go out there and find non-Christians through evangelism again and preach the gospel to them. We finally coined this phrase from the above steps, the divine cycle, and make ready the church for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through rapture. Our weekly services are as follows. From Mondays to Saturdays, we have our Divine Support Fellow Revival Fellowship, which starts from 8 to 9 p.m. London time. Sundays is our normal service, which starts from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. London time. Other services we have every day, seven days a week, is Operation Push, Intensive Midnight Prayers, full Conference, that starts from 11.45 to 1 a.m. London time. Every Saturday is Save One Soul by Week Evangelism, which starts from 1 to 3 30 p.m. London time. For more details, please phone 0790 833 4348. And that's the end of the announcements in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. God has been faithful. I will return all the glory to Him in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to now step into the Bible reading. As we kindly call on the joy to please um, take us through the Bible reading uh, before we go into the testimony. Let's put our hands for Jesus as she comes forward. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for allowing us to see 2024. How many more years will we see in Jesus' name? Amen. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, from verse 7 to 12. 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, from verses 7 to 12. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're there, I want to hear you shout, Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Blessed One. Amen. Praise God. Amen. From verse 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Verse 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus. 
that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always, always delivered unto death for Jesus, for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then, death walketh in us, but life in you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. These few verses in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 from 7 to 12 shows this type of persecution we as children of God go through. But irrespective of all of this, we still trust in God. Satan can throw whatever he wants to throw. Principalities can do whatever they want to do. But for the sake that we trust in the Lord God with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our understanding, we'll be able to get through. Be cheerful and do not despair. For God is with you always. He will never forsake you nor let you down. It doesn't matter what is being thrown at you. Trust in the Lord and you'll see, he will see you through. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's the end of my reading. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Thank you, Mommy Joy, for that Bible reading. I pray that the Lord will continue to help us. You know, to stand in no matter all the persecutions and everything that God will give us the strength to keep looking up to him in the mighty name of Jesus. We are now going to call on Sister Comfort to please um, lead us through the testimony time. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, Church. Happy New Year. We've come into 2024. We have every cause to rejoice and not to be a bit, you know. Testimony time. Blessing time. Blessing time. Testimony time. Blessing time. I believe everybody seated here has a testimony because we made it. Amen. Yes. That in itself is a testimony. Yes. That in itself is a testimony. I can, you know, I sit down and I'm thinking, I think it will actually sink in maybe in March that I've actually made it to 2024. Because I, that's how much I don't take it for granted. Because I know, and I know without a shadow of doubt that it's the grace of God. Because what makes me so different from other people that woke up and, you know, they thought the day was going to meet them at the end and yet they didn't see it. And something else happened. You know, some of us, like last week and on the 31st, we had the testimony of a narrow escape of, you know, a car. Anything could have happened. But th these are the little things that we say is little, but they are so mighty. And we need to testify, no matter how little it is. It's a testimony for each and every one of us, as long as you and your household made it alive into 2024, nothing missing, nothing broken, meaning broken, there's no sickness, there's nothing life-threatening. In itself, it's a testimony. We live, we, we say bye-bye to our children at the door when they go to school. We, how are we guaranteed that they will come back? But they go, they come back. We, we take our children, the little ones, to nursery. And that is the most scary bit. But they come back. Because they are children, who, who, how are we so trustworthy? Even parents, I, I didn't trust myself when I was um, the, the, the first um, mother. Because I didn't know how to do it. I've never done it before. And all of a sudden, I have this little thing walking around that I have to feed up, remember to feed them, to clean when I, I forget to even get these things. And so we thank God. And yet you go and give your children six months to Total strangers to take care of them. And if a year has come and your children are alive, I'm alive, nothing missing, we have every reason to say, Father, thank you. And that is why I am so bent on, anytime I enter into a new year, it takes me a long time for me to digest that I've actually made it. And for that, we just want to say, Father, we thank you. Collectively, it's our testimony and our, and our thanksgiving as a church that nobody has been reported missing amongst us. And we say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Testimonies, please. Sister Felicia, shall we clap for Jesus? Hallelujah. I just want to give this testimony on behalf of my mother. 
you know, for the past six to seven years we lost my father. My mother has not been the same. You know, she keeps losing weight and everything. Looking at her, I'm not happy when I look at her because she's just lost, you know, a lot of weight. And we we're worried, you know, like, what is wrong? Then she went to the hospital and they said she has anemia. She needs to be operated on and all that. But she said she doesn't want to, to do it. So we didn't pressure her. And we just been praying about it. I said, God, I know she's, she's, it's not just about the, the medical aspect. She's, she's hot emotionally and that is affecting her physical appearance. So I've been praying about it. I said, Lord, I don't know. Please give her peace. Whatever thing it is, give her peace in her heart. I've been praying about it, praying about it over and over again. So that just, you know, this, um, the last year, and my, my siblings were telling me, oh, she, my mom is changing, she's changing. Because when I saw her on the video call, she's regaining her flesh back, you know. She's, you know, her, she used to be a very jovial woman. And then you can see the, you know, the jovial they coming back out of her again. So I want to thank God. Without even doing the surgery or anything, she's okay. The idea or whatever is not growing because it was at the side of her leg. Nothing is coming, it is just okay. So I just want to thank God that, you know, God gave her peace. I can feel, you know, when somebody has peace, then you have anything, you'll be able to face whatever thing that is ahead of you. So she's got that peace and she's back on her business because she stopped, she couldn't even do her business. But now, to the glory of God, we're able to set her up again with her business and she's just happy. So I want to thank God for that. And it's not something I take for granted because he meant a lot. So I want to thank God for his goodness and his faithfulness. Amen. 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 Shall we clap for Jesus? Shall we clap for Jesus? Shall we clap for Jesus? We shall go for our own life because it is not easy. Unless you go through it, it is not easy. You've lived with somebody for years. You wake up with them, sleep with them. And one day you find yourself alone. But we thank God for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And our prayer is that the Lord will continue to give her peace and joy. The Bible says that for the joy of the Lord is our strength. And when we have the joy of the Lord, nothing else matters. And she will continue to grow and live to see her children's children's children. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Any more testimonies? Any more? Shall we clap her to Beverly as she comes? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm just here to say thank you to the Lord for bringing us into 2020. Amen. You know, um, we all heard it in the news that young man, that student, he's only 16. And can you imagine, on Amsterdam Heath, they went to see the new year, you know, because of the fireworks and everything. And yet he lost his life just a couple of minutes before the beginning of the new year. You know, we have to just always cover our children in the blood of Jesus and give thanks for their lives and give thanks for our lives. And all the time, you know, we need to even cover the children that are not ours in the blood of Jesus. Because when I think about it, the enemy, what he does, he just wants to rob, rob the life of someone. You know, without that life, that person will never, if they weren't a Christian, be able to give God the praise and to seek him. So we are, we are fortunate, and not fortunate in a sense, but because of his grace, his mercy, and his loving kindness, he protects us, and he guides us, and Lord, Today, in the name of Jesus, I just ask you, Lord, to let your presence go with us wherever we go, wherever our children enter, that your presence, Jesus, will always be with them and with us and in our church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because there are so many things around us here, but this sanctuary is the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And because of that, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for my life. I thank you for all my brethren, Jesus. It's my testimony for, to you to give you thanks. And to thank you, Lord, for protecting them, protecting their families. No one has reported 
every loss or any suffering. God is great. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Any more testimonies, please, Sister Judy? Shall we clap for Father? Hallelujah. I always, I always like coming here every any time that the God is not even though like even though I don't remember things now, we just remember the life. Because what I understand is the more you give testimonies, the more things the testimony of things that you're supposed to testify will just be coming. It will not just sit. So I want to thank God for the gift of life. For making us this because I know that one of us, one somebody from our place, that that she was okay and on she died on the first of the, the first of January and according to them they say that she was the one that ran every around about that mom because they did the mom's burial on the twenty third of December but honestly she just, they said she just slumped and they rushed her to the hospital and. They say there is no blood, and that's just, you know, that's just the end of our life. But I just want to thank God for the gift of life. And again, I want to thank God because there is this dream that people have been starting. And I think since years ago, I have people having this dream. I used to see myself, maybe I would see myself with a guest artist, or I see myself with celebrities that I would be talking with, I would just be just saying, I would be doing. Like, this dream I've had like, more than countless times. Sometimes I would see myself with Jews, I say, ah. This kind of thing, how will I even get there? Sometimes I will see with see with how like see, even at those addresses and say, oh, well, I don't understand this dream. But the dream keep coming, keep coming. But I just want to tell you because um there is this one person that I like following online. I use, I just like following her. I like watching her videos, and I just want to tell you for making. I, I saw her, and I don't know like. Like how, uh, even myself, I showed them the video, they did not believe, they said, this person you've not seen it before. How how we we talked and how we even went out we ate, and uh, we even ate from the same place. I was telling my team, they said, ah, how am I just Because well, this person is with over 2 million followers. But I just want to tell you, I know that this is just, just the beginning, because I know that but those dreams that I'm having, I know that they, one day, like, it's just gradually, it's just the process. Just want to thank God for this one, and I know that more and more are the years to come. Amen. 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 Any other testifier? We'll have um, Mommy Joy and then Uncle TJ. Shall we clap for Jesus? We give all the glory to the Almighty God. Amen. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. And his mercies endure it forever. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. Even from the time I was not created. As we've entered this year, 2024, I sat back and I reflected what God has done. And there was a film that I was watching and something happened. And then it clicked in my in my spirit that for the past 55 years and plus seven days, I slept and woke up. And while I was sleeping, yes, we prayed. Do we know actually what happens while you're sleeping? <laughs> Satan fights. Satan fights. And he fights and he fights. But you know what? The Lord is by our side Amen. all the time. Alarm. Yes, I heard my alarm today. I pressed it like this one. Press it to the house. I said, if you're following me, you need to get up now. <laughs> the cycle of it's not the alarm that woke me up. It's the spirit of God within me. That woke me up. So for 55 years plus seven days, God has been waking me up. Not because I'm better than everybody else, but because of his love and his mercy. 
Also, one the time, go for the love of my husband, for the life of my children, for the love of my father, for the love of my in-laws. Apart from one of my sisters who didn't make it, but the rest of my sisters and my brothers, they are still alive by the grace of God. And I want to give all the glory and all the honor and all the adoration, thanks given to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, I appreciate what you've been doing in my life, and I know you are yet to do greater and more things. My prayer is let me be humble enough to be able to accomplish what you sent me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the gift of life and we should not take it for granted when we sleep and we wake up. And as our dear mother said, it is never the alarm clock because some go to bed and they set the alarm clock and their alarm clock rings and they are nowhere to be found. Amen. So it is not the alarm clock. Shall we welcome our dear Uncle TJ to me? Give us his testimony. Shall we clap for Jesus? Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I just wanted to spend a second here and give my testimony to say I thank the Lord for bringing us through 2024. Praise the Lord. We thank Him for the gift of life. We thank Him for our parents. We thank Him for our children. We thank him for everything he's doing in our lives, Amen. especially what Sister Beverly was talking. I saw that boy on TV who got killed, who got stabbed, a 15 year old crazy boy like that. Sometimes he goes back to our children and says, Suppose our children were in that position or were in that gathering or somewhere. Because our children, we know they like to go out, they like places, the wrong place at the wrong time. But the Lord, is always guiding our children, guiding us. Um, oh, in the news as well, you see people have got floods, they suffer from floods, they suffer from earthquakes in Japan. A lot of things all over going around the world because the Bible in Matthew 24 talks about these things. There will be famine, there will be issues coming up. But thank God we are not in a place where we have floods. We are not in a place where we are in a place where there are floods, but that has never come near us. Amen. We've never had any earthquakes. We've never had any wars that have affected us. So we thank the Lord for this. I would just like to share a scripture, which is taken from the book of Matthew 6, 22 to 23. It says, the love of God is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. Praise the Lord. Amen. I pray that we continue to serve God. I cannot stop to my because I only believe in God. And I believe through coming through 2024 has been a miracle for me. But I thank the Lord that He's been able to put me through and my family and everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I just want to give my testimony by singing this song. I don't know the words, but it has carried me towards the latter end of 2023 to 2024. And uh, stuff, we shall lose the, the, the words, I don't know. Testimonies in the blood of 
Jesus. Our prayer is that Lord, as we journey through 2024, give us safe passage. Protect us, protect our homes, protect our jobs. Keep us from evil, keep our feet from evil, oh God. Our hold has caused us to walk this walk worthy of your name. And at the end, that we God, let all the glory and all the praise, Father, come to you. And we will sing again and say, Eze Bube, this is how far you have brought us. We thank you for the remaining of the service. We ask, Lord, that you will take absolute control and let your name and your name alone be glorified. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Comfort, for taking us through the testimony time. And we give God all the praise and glory for all the beautiful testimonies. We are going to now continue with another time of praise and worship. As I can call on the journey to please them, take us through another time of worship. Let's put hands together for Jesus as she comes forward. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we sleeping? Amen. Are you sure you're not sleeping?
Jesus. Lord Jesus. We look up to the hills. Spirit. 
It is a year to say goodbye to microwave Christianity. It is a year to say, welcome Holy Spirit, take your place. It is a year to think like Jesus thinks. Feel like Holy Spirit feels. Walk in the living of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes when we talk about the Holy Spirit, people just talk about the supernatural, the supernatural, the power, the anointing. Well, those words are good. The supernatural and the anointing and the power is just one dimension of the Holy Spirit. And believers, and it is good, it's good for people to want the power, the anointing, the fire. But that is just one aspect of the Holy Spirit. Why take just a fractional part of the Holy Spirit when you can have everything? The Holy Spirit is about the presence. When we have the presence, we have the whole soul package. Having the presence is like having God manifest presence of God in us. And then the manifest presence of God now can demonstrate itself or itself in different multifaceted forms. Of course, the manifestation of the power of God is wonderful. That is one of the major functions of the Holy Spirit. But we need a total presence. If we just go for the power, the fire, the anointing, we are churching ourselves. We can do better. Somebody say, I can do better. I can do better. Somebody say, I can do better. I can do better. With the working of the Holy Spirit, we can do better. So it gets to the point where we live like Christ. We talk like Christ. We live holy unconsciously. We're sleeping, we're living holy. We are awake, we're living holy. We take decisions, we're taking holy decisions. Hallelujah. Amen. The thing that the devil fear most is that holiness. Holy living. This year, we will get there in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is not partial holiness. Partial holiness is not good enough. <coughs> the devil felt threatened any time Jesus showed up. <coughs> Have you gone to destroy us before our time as he entered into a city? The demons were just you know, getting a little bit um, um, convoluted. And then in John chapter 14, verse 30, Jesus said, The prince of this world coming to me and found nothing. The devil have robbed Christians for too long. And that is why somebody will say they are believers in the house of God. They will be in the church, but yet they still go and read up. Do you know Christians read up? And when we say Christian read up, is not going to read up from Prophet Elijah or Uncle Moses. Believers, people in the church, stoop so low to go to Christian warriors. You need to be going one well, way. Well, those of us that go through the Bushamon and stuff, you see them, they carry, they didn't, uh, sorry, that was Bushamon line. But you see them, they carry, they said, I see good love for your face. Say to them, so you are right. You see the glory of God in my face is not good luck, correct? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not good luck. You see Jesus in us. And interestingly, again, somehow these people will still lure people, lure people into their shrines, into their temple. People that have something to do with church. I will still go to seek help when there is no help. And let nobody tell me that all they have all God and God. All God is no God. And listen to me, thank you, my sister. It's all God is not God. That is why when God comes on the 
he said he wants to introduce himself to Abraham. He said, I am and to Moses, he said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am not bad. I am not good. I am not juju. He said, if God be God, serve him. If God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob be God, serve him. If he's not, then God serve. But everything we serve, there is a consequence for it. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> Father, we thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. Yes, we are grateful. Amen. We are grateful. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Do we have some teenagers here that didn't get this from Cross of Night? Any teenager that didn't get this from Cross of Night? No? You want one? Okay, start. Share, sure. show. You can have two if you want, actually. Mm -hmm. Take two, give two to them. Then when you give, give them. Take the whole question. My sister, God bless you. I've still got two here. Anyone who wants to give their teenage black one? Any teenage person you want to give, come now, my teacher, if you want one, come, sir. I'll keep one. Oh, oh. brother, boy, is groaning. Who okay. gave? My as a leader, can we? Leaders is selfless. Give to him. Brother, boy, you got it. My teacher, thank you for your sacrifice. We appreciate you, sir. That's what leadership is. You see that? Okay, so that you see, when you sacrifice, you get. Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, so we've done also the events for the year. All the events for the year. Um, events team, can you just share? We've shared it on our platform already. So the people that like things in hard copy, give them one. All, that's all the events for the year. But we have them on the platform. But Pastor Bolivio said, can you give him one? It's on our platform already. So the people that like hard copy, give them one. Pastor Paulin will say, pass me no bicycle for comfort. <laughs> Pastor Paulin will say, he said, pass me no bad please. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> the first time we saw Brian Mandela in this house, Nearly two years, it was just for a man around and around. And people think, oh, this Brian Mandela is a bachelor. He is not a bachelor. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Brian Emmanuel came here today to let us know that all this world will be seen here, will be seen by himself. Brian Mandela, should I talk it or you want to talk it by yourself? <laughs> Which one do you prefer? <laughs> So if I want to say for your information, all the while you are seeing me, I'm not the bachelor actually. Um, and uh, I know, I think somebody is behind that looks like Brother Emmanuel's wife. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Brother, it's only fair that you should introduce your family. Come here, sir. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do us the honor. Do us the honor. Do us the honor. Yes, yes, yes. Put your hands together for Jesus as well, yes. For the I like that. Zina no Kobrosa. But very quickly, we started looking at this important topic from during the course of the week. We simply entitled it, What Do You See? Hallelujah. Uh, Somebody go around and ask you never what you see. Quickly, what you see. Say never what you see. What do you see, Brahman? 
what you see, you took an old devil and said, Never what you see, sister, I don't know what you see. Brother, you what you see, but just want you what you see, what you see, what you see, what you see, what you see. What do you see, what do you see, what do you see, what do you see? What do you see about me? What do you see about me? What do you see about me? Who wants our tax? 
And Jesus said to Peter, go to the river. The first fish you catch, open the mouth of the fish, you will find the money in the mouth of the fish. How so beautiful that is. If Peter was to go and find the coin, how many fishes will you find in the sea? How long is it going to take him to find, get the room, open the mouth? Go and are you there? Go. Go and are you there? No, go. Go and are you there? In other words, there is efficiency and speed. We come. Efficiency and speed. So when God said, go find the coin, go get the coin, he didn't say, go find it. God didn't say to Peter, go and find the coin. He said, go and get it. And Peter listened to what God told him, followed instruction to the letter, and, found, and got the coin. Sometimes, if believers decide to do things their way, they begin to find things. When God is leading you and I, it may look a bit um, not as fast as we think. But first, God wants you and I to settle them with Him. Before Peter, God, uh, Jesus said to Peter, Go get a coin from the mouth of the fish. Peter had been with Jesus for a while. Hallelujah. And then when the, the time to solve a problem come, God looked around and said, Who am I going to use to solve this problem? God would not normally use strangers to solve problems for himself. God can use strangers to solve problems in our lives, strangers that people who don't know. But generally speaking, when God has a need and he wants to solve a problem, God wants to use people around him to solve the problem. He used a donkey to speak. But don't forget that that donkey was around God because that donkey was having a prophet. Are you listening to me? So God did not use a distant donkey to solve a problem. He used the donkey that belonged to the prophet to solve, to speak to the prophet. When God couldn't get the attention of the prophet because the prophet was becoming too carnal and too selfish and too greedy, God bypassed the, the, the prophet and spoke through the donkey. But the donkey was not far from God because that donkey belonged to the prophet and the prophet belonged to God. So we need to get close to God so that when God wants to solve problems, we could be people He can come upon to solve problems. I believe that in 2024, God will sort us out. Yes. But, amen, amen, I agree. Thank you for your enthusiasm. But there's something more than that. God wants to use us also to solve problems. Hallelujah. And the closer we are, the closer we are to God, the more God would use us to solve problems. The more closer we are to God, the more complex the problem that God can use us to solve. Because the more close we are to God, the more we understand the voice of God and the workings of God. If God wants to solve complex problems, He wants people who can listen to precise instructions. When God wants to solve complex problems, He doesn't use complexities to solve complex problems. And so the people who are close enough to God, their faith is built up. Because when God wants to solve a complex problem, He solves it with simple solution. And the closer we are with God, the more our faith is. So that when God tells us to do simple things, 
o nome de Deus é Hakadir Zerbotem, só Deus compra as provas. The people who are close to God get to the point where they don't ask questions anymore of God. I'm, meaning, I'm learning that the, the way God is dealing with me this year looks like it's just like telling me sometimes I think I have to deal with this one in a certain way. And after that, I say, how rich I am. And then it's also very simple. As oh, what a Russian man I am. Come up here. Come up here. And the kind of revival you have in Singapore may not be the kind of revival you have in the UK. And sometimes we can misapply revival from China and bring revival from China to Australia. Every nation has God's approval to revive the nation. And that is even the more reason why you and I need to be able to get closer to God and understand the mind of God, the voice of God, and do that listen to Him. You can't bring the method that God wants to use to revive uh, India and bring it. It may not work. Every nation has their spiritual peculiarities. And you see what I'm saying? There is that one of God, he doesn't pray for more than five minutes. But he prays five, five, ten minutes every hour. That is his method. He doesn't spend, spend any more than ten minutes praying. But no hour passes by without him praying for ten minutes. You know the word collapse. You know the words every one hour he refreshes himself spiritually and reconnects and becomes spiritually brand new just for ten minutes. But as some of us, God calls us to stay for 36 hours for praying. And after that, 36 hours, he says, Go and use this one for 40 days. What is your calling? What is the method? What is the key? We need to understand our uniqueness and peculiarity with God. If we get that, then we are well, we will do well. And the man that prayed 10 minutes every hour was my daily use of God. Papa, I heard you were still for hours praying. That is Papa Hedin's key that God has given to Papa Hedin. He prays, I think by, by Papa Aaron Jr., Papa Hedin's younger, like one of his songs, he says, when they were growing up, their, their, their mom would go and drop them, their dad would be praying. They will come back from school. Papa Hedin is still praying. But that is the key, the method that God has given to Papa Hedin. What is your own key? Or what is the key of revival that God is bringing to this land? Some that then they just turned Ukraine upside down. It wasn't by prayer. It wasn't really by prayer per se. What Sunday Adelaide used to turn Ukraine upside down for Christ was a, a, a multi dimensional units. So people will set up selling units in their places of work. People will set up selling units in their marketplace. People will set up anywhere selling units. It has over 3,000 selling units. Your mission is a praying man, yes. But then his praying methodology was a company with over 5,000 sellers. That's what your mission had in your church. Yeah. 
So you can see the pattern of cells in your vicious church. My teeth is squatting cell. Okay, let's form the cell. I don't know who their teeth is squatting. I eat too much. Okay, let's form the cell unit for people who. So, so your vicious ministry, of course, is embellished, is embedded in prayer, but also practical cell units. That is the, the method that God has given to him with which he used to revive cell. Uh, uh, South Korea. Hallelujah. Amen. And you and I cannot find our network while we are on the go. God did not give us our network on the go. Check out everybody that God has entered into a covenant with. It didn't happen on the go. In Exodus chapter 3, God entered a very important relationship with Moses. Moses was wearing the cattle. Moses was on the go. But before God revealed himself to Moses, he had to call his attention in the form of a bush. There was fire in the bush, but the bush did not consume. Moses did not look at the bush and continue, and God was chasing him and talking to him. Moses was rearing the animal, and came to a place in the wilderness. And of course, God will always meet us in our wilderness place. God does not usually meet us inside the crowd. What church will do for you, this service will do for you, is to stir you up. I have feel the anointing here. To stir you up to go and find your God in your closet. Are you listening to me? Most people that have found God found God in the wilderness. And let me tell you something, all of us have our wilderness place. God will never use anybody that he hasn't met in the wilderness. Found Moses in the wilderness. The day God entered into the covenant with Jacob. Do you know where he found Jacob? Jacob was sleeping with stone as his pillow inside the bush. The Bible said, well, Jacob, everybody have left Jacob alone. And Jacob was sleeping on the coast of head. Jacob was sleeping rough, battle reading, going through the worst time of his wilderness experience. It wasn't the DFS mattress he was sleeping on. He wasn't crossing his leg on his DFS so far, depending on what you're using. He found Jacob in the roughest time inside the bush. And the Bible says, Joseph and Jacob took stone because there was nothing else he could find and used stone to make his pillow. I mean, I was very comfortable sleeping with pillow and stone. So of us said, we have a pillow for our house. This pillow said, if they hurt me, Jacob was sleeping on the stone with this time, and that was his pillow. And it was when Jacob was sleeping on the stone, it was on that encounter that God changed his name from Jacob to Israel. In a wilderness. Where were you? Bible says, if we seek him early, we will find him. God can give us salvation gift, but he gives us that salvation gift to draw our attention to start seeking him. We can become born again, stay in our corner, do our thing, and go to heaven, but there's much more to salvation than that. When God wanted to call Moses, he caught his attention. Moses was going in the wilderness. Moses saw a bush. There was fire in the bush, but the bush was not consumed. It was when Moses said, let me pay attention. God said, okay, you're serious. Salvation of the confessing Jesus as our Lord and Savior is just the one. Is the kindergarten walk the first baby step 
That is why the Bible says, let us now move from this doctrine of baptism and salvation and move to a higher dimension of the word of God. So there is another dimension to grow with God. But let me tell you something that is really interesting. The devil will never let people go there easily. It has to be by fight. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? It can never, the devil will never just say, okay, hey, what happened? If we are honest, how many of us have really struggled our quiet time? Today we do it what we want to do is sleep. For me, when I'm not born again initially, I can be at last and do everything we do, we tell you. One will come to church service, after the preach, 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 I go, <laughs> oh, yours, which one was going to be this? <laughs> and after the same thing, I said, I come and I don't know, bro. I said, no, 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 this has to stop. How come when the word of God is going on, then it's when the spirit is coming? And the word of God is a lamp on top of my feet. <laughs> and then again, when I survived that, I said, I'm going to my prayer time. I discovered that as soon as I made up my mind to say, this is my time, I'm going to set an altar for the Lord. I'm going to be going to meet God on this altar upon one side. This is my time. The devil then did it in one. I clap for myself. <laughs> Successfully. I fed many good the first day. did it the second day. The third day. By the time I got the five minutes, I was leaving. I said, what? And I battled and battled and battled and battled out of that way, and I succeeded. Have you noticed that when you want to read your Bible, it's when everything will let loose? Even if you say you put it on YouTube, you don't want to listen to it, that is when everything will start distracting us. But how can a Christian be a Christian without this? There is a difference between messages that people preach to us. It's good to listen to this message now. But the messages that are telling us now give us faith. The one you discover by yourself will give you spirit of faith. There is a difference between faith and spirit of faith. Faith is like mathematics. Spirit of faith is like Atmas. How many of us did Atmas in Sunday school? The book said, I'm able to buy Atmas with a great So Atmas is another mass plus. So I preach this message because it's coming with the anointing, it can touch your faith. But you can't compare what God teaches you directly from this. Nobody can, you, no matter how anointed I can, I can't give you spirit of faith. Can I repeat this one again? No matter how anointed I am, I cannot give you spirit of faith. If this message is anointed and not by the grace of God is anointed, it can build, it can give you faith. But there are some encounters you have with the Bible, you get a spirit of faith. So there's a difference between faith and spirit of faith. Spirit of faith comes from the Holy Spirit. That is why it's spirit of faith. And in 2004, 2024, remember, this is not made through this paper. It is not a novel. In John chapter 6, verse 63, it said, It is the spirit that quickens. The flesh profited a little. It said, For the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. So it is life. The way you look and approach this Bible depends on how much life we carry. 
If we go approaching this Bible hoping to find something in it, you'll find something in it. Any Christian that gets spirit of faith can go through all kinds of attack, but they never go on. Can I get that again to you? Any Christian that God gives grace to me, I know this one from the early Christianity. You are operating with the spirit of faith because by the time God wants to give us what to call generic, classic spirit of faith that comes from scriptures. Any Christian that is operating in war by time never goes under. Hallelujah. Amen. Never goes under. Never. Levels and levels. And so that is the work of God. That is the challenge. Would you like God? Or would you let God in? Let him in. Someone said, I'm already born again. Thank God. Thank God you're born again. And you deserve congratulations for that. But there is more. I read a book by someone, someone gave me a book some time ago. It's called, it said, Now that I'm born again. What next? Thank you for listening. I'm born again now. So, what next? Have you seen a chicken come out from the egg? But well, when born again, we're like a chicken covered in the egg shell. Salvation is like, you know how the chicken is harsh? Some of us, those of now, we're born here. We'll see you know. Those of us were born with the bonus, we know how chicken is dead. So the chicken uses the beak to do what? Crack the shell. And after some time, the shell opens, and then the chicken is exposed to the new world. So when someone is not born again, they are like a chick inside an eggshell that just covered in that cocoon of that world. Can I, can I just add to that? Yes, sir. Uh, when I was about 12 years old, yes, sir. I went down in the city yes, for sir. a chicken, one chicken, I made a coop, and I put the chicken in the coop and watched that chicken grow. Wow. When that chicken grow big, it laid a hag, and that hag that it laid was a double hog hag. Wow. So there were two chickens, there were two chicks in the hag. There, there's, there's no, there's no, there was no cock. Around because it was locked in the in the in the in the in in place, pen. Yeah. And what surprises me is that this hag was a double hook hag. Wow. And I said to myself, I have to go gain the knowledge of knowing how comes this chicken has laid a double hook hag. I'm showing you how God is good Amen, and, sir. And, and how God is a good creator because from one like Adam and Eve. He can create two. Amen. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Amen. The job that is not that we're going to do anything is we will going to send that chicken. Christmas long past now. <laughs> yes, and if the chicken was still breathing, next Christmas we'll bring some of those chicken. The one with the guy from Belgium, we're already slaughtered those ones. Then we will slaughter it ourselves. All right, sir. That, that, that's a wonderful one. So the, the, the chicken brother was, was talking had some to uh, breed. So if, if it was not brother, we would just use it to say, oh, well, I don't know what that brother would give us his chicken to say, bring Christmas, but... <laughs> My mother uh, did. Your mother did? Yeah, she sent me away to the country. And when I came back, she cooked the chicken for Christmas. Oh, okay. right? Because I came from a poor family. Yeah, and she didn't want to hurt me, so she sent me away to the country. And when I come back, she, she, says, says, she says, I'll kill the chicken, Owen. <laughs> the chicken is boiling in the pot. <laughs> I killed it for Christmas. <laughs> All right, sir. The student now, uh, you're eating it now, so we can't even <laughs> partake in eating. Hallelujah. Amen. So, this is a challenge to us. 
when we are not born again, we are in eggshell. We will break up like the chick and we enter into a new world. Because when the chick is in the eggshell, that is one world. When the chick breaks that eggshell, the chick walks into a new world. And then the journey begins from there. What about you and I? Masabari Bushara Zibushara Bushara Zibushara Bushara Rasuna Deshke Bede One prayer and then we are done. Just one prayer and we are done. Zunakos Kabra Kanadeya In First Kings chapter 19, when God, uh, uh, God visited Elijah and he fed Elijah with, with water and with um, angels, fed Elijah with baked cake and water, God woke up Elijah and said, God, and he said, eat for the journey is ahead. And Elijah ate the second time. The Bible says without that Elijah ate, he, went, he took him for 40 days. You want to lift up your voice and pray more prayer? God, I need a fire in my bosom that will take me on this journey. There is a journey ahead of us. 2024 is a journey. But beyond 2024, Zina Kakuna to Sete Ikoko Samalush Lift up your voice again Father my personal key For my personal revival My personal key For that personal war with you My personal key For a personal journey Release it upon me Release it upon me Release it upon me I need a fire for the journey Yeah. 